What's going on, my friends from YouTube? Larry here from Roadie Free Radio, getting ready to record another intro for you for the podcast like I do every week. I hope you guys have been well. If this is your first time checking us out, um, this is the podcast, Roadie Free Radio. This is what we do. We talk to people behind the scenes of the music and film business, and I encourage you to check out any past episodes if you are interested in that. Uh, and what we do here is I just record the intro so you can see me doing it because this is a behind the scenes show. You can check it out. And then if you want to listen to the full episode, you click the link in the description below and it will take you to the SoundCloud file or to the website, whichever one you'd like to go. They're all in there and you can uh, listen to this week's episode or you can listen to a previous episode and find out more stuff because we got a lot of cool content on the website for you to check out. So there is that. So sometimes I got to do a read for something or, uh, you know, a little housekeeping stuff. I like to call it ahead of time. But uh, this week is just going to be the straight show, man. We're going to do it. We're going to knock it out and uh, and get it done. If you have not had a chance to check out my interview with um, episode number 50 with Bill Hanley, I encourage you to do so. He was the uh, he's known as the father of festival sound. He was the sound guy for the original Woodstock in 69. He's a great guy. And, uh, John Kane biographer, filmmaker joined us as well. And, uh, we had a really good chat. We shot it over at Daryl's house in Pauling, New York. Uh, so head back, check that out. Episode number 50, a lot of cool stuff coming up as well. So if you want to be notified, subscribe, do me a favor, hit that like button on this video. If you like what you see. And uh, stay with us, man. There's always kind of cool stuff coming out. You never know what's going to be happening. All right? So here we go. Let's see. If you also, if you're just tuning in, let me tell you what the setup is here, okay? I got a laptop and an external monitor going on over here. This is where I look at my notes, my show notes and whatnot. Over here on this main computer, which you can't really see, I've got um, Adobe Audition fired up. I'm running into a vintage Shure microphone. This is the 55, 55, I believe it's the SM55. I should know that. I do know that, but my brain's a little fried. Anyway, I'm doing that into here, into a Behringer board, which is the, um, the Xenix X1204. I have that particular board because it allows me to do a mix minus so I can do my Skype calls when I need to do those. Anyway, that runs straight into Adobe Audition. There you go. I'm filming on a Canon 5D Mark III, and I'm using my other laptop because I just don't have enough screens going on. I'm using my other laptop here to uh, start and stop the recording on the Canon. So if you see me looking around at some crazy different things, I'm not losing my mind. I'm just trying to see where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I am losing my mind. I take all of that back. All right, let's get down to business. Here we go. So what happens is you'll hear the intro. I've already set an in point for myself. I hit record as soon as I'm ready and uh, we fire this bad boy right up. And because I'm filming and I'm doing the intros, um, I got to do it in one take. You know what I mean? I used to come in. Sometimes it would take me two, three takes to kind of get warmed up and find my voice before doing the intro, but uh, not anymore. Now I just go for it. This thing, this machine right here that you're watching me through keeps me honest, keeps me responsible, keeps me accountable. So I got to nail this on the first take. All right. So here we go. I do my little shimmy, have a little drinky. I didn't really clean up for you guys either. Sometimes I try to try to straighten up what's going on here in the office, but uh, I didn't get there. All right, here we go. Quit messing around, Larry. What's up, roadies? This is Myron Hart. This is Roger Sadowski. What's happening, roadies? This is Louis Rosano, and you're listening to Roadie Free Radio. What's up, roadies? My name is Larry Milburn, and this is Roadie Free Radio, your VIP pass to meet and greet the stars behind the scenes of the music and film business. What's happening, roadies? Welcome to episode number 54 it is good to be here this is larry milburn coming at you from a barn in northwest connecticut episode number 54 like i said it's nice to have you is this your first time is this your first time tuning in to the show if so on behalf of myself 
and all the other roadies out there, welcome to the back of the bus, to the lounge, as it were. Uh, we sit down, we talk to folks in the, uh, in the music and film biz, the folks that make it happen, the real people that make it happen, the crews, the gaffers, the grips, the DPs, the front of house engineers, the monitor mixers, the producers, you know, those people, man, the roadies, man. That's who we talk to to find out the real stuff. No, in all honesty, that's what I truly believe. I believe that, uh, you know, these folks make it happen. In fact, someone asked me the other day, they were asking me about the show. They said, what do you hope, what are you doing with this thing? It's really cool. Yeah, it's great. You're doing this show. But what do you really hope to get out of it? I said, here's, here's the thing, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wax it for you right now. What I hope to get out of the show is this. If you are a, a civilian, meaning that you're not in the industry at all, uh, and you listen to the show, which I appreciate, by the way. Um, I hope that you have a deeper understanding and appreciation for what goes in to putting on a concert, what goes into building an amplifier, what goes into uh, you know putting on a, a show, making a record, making a film, all those kinds of things. I hope that you have a deeper appreciation for these things. And maybe, just maybe, at your next... Uh, concert that you go to, you'll be able to look at the sound guy or at the guitar techs or whoever it is on stage and you'll know a little something extra and just maybe on the way out you'll be like, hey, great job tonight, Rody. It sounded awesome. That would be very cool. Now, if you're in the industry and you listen to this show and you're listening to these stories of these people that you know, well, here's the deal, man. I know you've been out there with these people. I know you know who Robert Scoville is. Maybe you've even worked with Robert, right? Maybe you know Rebecca Wilson or Randy Brown. But hopefully, through my show, you will learn a little something extra, a little nugget of something you didn't know. And maybe, just maybe, you're an entrepreneur and you happen to be listening to this show. Uh, you're going to get a lot out of it because most of these people are self-starters. Most of these people are out there grinding it out day in and day out, trying to figure out uh, how to get from day to day and gig to gig. And um, a lot of their stories, most everybody's story is pretty damn inspiring. So that's what I hope for with this show. So if you are new to the channel, I welcome you. Thank you for tuning in. And um, you can follow us on SoundCloud. You can check out all the posts that we do on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, you can certainly uh, subscribe on iTunes. And gosh darn it, while you're there, if you wouldn't mind leaving a little review or a rating, that would help out tremendously. All right? iTunes. Because the more you get, the more they bump you up in that queue. You know what I'm saying? That special Apple queue that they got going on. Just found out they're going to start sharing some of the analytics so that podcasters like me can start to track some things on iTunes. They weren't doing that before. Anyway, that's a little rant. Okay. What do we got? So today's guest, actually, now hold on. Before we get to today's guest, <laughs> it's a good one. Before we get to today's guest, uh, don't forget Sound Girls, Sound Girls Sound Camp happening. Go to soundgirls.org and you will see uh, these live sound camps that are going on. Registration is open, my friends, for the Brooklyn event coming up August 14th through the 18th at the Paper Box in Brooklyn. Uh, I believe it's in Williamsburg. I will be there if you have a daughter or a niece or a cousin or a, a lovely young gal that you know or a guy who's between the ages of 12 and 18 years old. They can go to this camp for a week. They will learn hands-on practical skills to get them started, to get them salivating about a life in the audio field. And uh, at the end of the week, they get to actually like load in a real band and run the night, run the whole show. You know what I'm saying? The thing has been Sound Girls was started by Carrie Kyes, who's been on our show, previous guest, who is awesome. And she has been Pearl Jam's monitor mixer, okay? Monitor engineer, monitor badass for the last 25 years. You don't just start doing that because you're kind of good. You do that, you get that kind of run because you're fucking awesome. All right? I said it. There it is. So soundgirls.org, head over, check it out. Uh, they work to empower and educate young women in the field 
of audio technology. We'll call it sound reinforcement. And we've had several of, of the sound girls on the show. And you know what? We're going to continue to have more. Speaking of amazing women, I, I've said it a couple of times. I am working my way through um, the book Louder Than Hell by Catherine Turman. And I am so excited. It's like the definitive, definitive oral history of heavy metal, uh, which I admittedly did not know that much about. I've just passed through the Sunset Strip heyday of uh, Motley Crue and Poison and all these bands and uh, quite a fun read. And now I'm getting a little heavier. Now I'm getting into the Metallica, Anthrax, Megadeth thing, uh, Motorhead. I've got the album Apes of Spades. And I'll tell you something, when I drive into New York sometimes and I got to deal with the Sawmill Parkway and the freaking West Side Highway, I crank that shit up. Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. All right. What is in this drink? I'm drinking a La Croix. My wife started buying these. There's nothing in it. I don't know. That's just natural. I'm just on a high on life. All right. Can we get to today's episode? Yes, we can. Here we go. Today's guest is Sir Louis Rosano of Louis Electric Amplifiers. Um, third, fourth generation Italian American. All right. You know what I'm talking about. Lou lives in Bergenfield, New Jersey. I drove down there to see him. I had watched a video about him in his shop. And uh, so I pull up nondescript street in Bergenfield, quaint little street, quaint little town in Jersey. And sure enough, man, the garage door is open. I can tell he's got a couple of classic cars under some canvases in the driveway. And um, I hear some sounds. I hear some tones coming out and I get out. And here's the funny part. He forgot I was coming. He didn't realize I was there to do an interview. He thought I was there to interview for a job, not to interview him for the podcast, which was good. I caught him off guard. He didn't have time to prepare. But he was hanging out with Robert uh, from Compton Guitars, who's three years into his business of building guitars, had a very nice looking guitar there. He's a huge uh, deadhead, Robert. We had a nice chat and um, I got his card. I'm going to have him on the show. I figure, what the hell, right? Guy could use a little PR, and he's got a good-looking guitar, and he's a deadhead. Can't be all that bad. So, anyway, very cool stuff. And he had one of Lou's uh, Jerry Garcia model amplifiers that are gorgeous. I didn't get to play that one, but it's gorgeous. Beautiful natural wood. Cabinets made by a company called Hard Truckers. Uh, and I think I got to do a little more digging because I want to have these guys on the show as well. I think they were, uh, you know, working for Jerry and the gang, Jerry Garcia, back in the day. Now they build cabinets, uh, a few other accessories, road cases and whatnot, and they do those super cool uh, tie-dye amp grills. So anyway, so I learned two things. I learned about Compton guitars, and I learned about hard truckers. We kicked Robert out of, this, out of the garage, and, and Lou and I sat down, had a very nice chat, um, about his career, 25 years this summer, he's been cranking along and, um, afterward he made me a, a delicious espresso. And then I got to sit down I got to play a couple of the amps. Uh, well, the first one I played was the Columbia reverb, which is kind of his answer to the Princeton reverb. And then, then I fell deeply head over heels in love with the Deltone amplifier, the Deltone reverb amp. Um, wow. Kind of like a Fender Deluxe. Uh, I don't think it had quite as many gain stages. No, but it's got tremolo and reverb and, oh boy, I had that thing cranked up. He gave me a telly. I was in heaven. I did not want to leave, but here's the thing, folks. I had to leave. Do you know why? Because I had to get back in the car to drive from Bergenfield, New Jersey to SIR Studios on 25th Street in New York so I could sit down with the man the myth, the legende, they call him. El Grande Jefe, Night Bob. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to Night Bob. I sat down with Night Bob, and we had a hell of a chat. Hell of a chat. It's a two hours. Two hours we sat and talked. So I got to mind through that, try to give you the best bits. What a guy. But, as you know, prior to that, I was with Lou Rosano. Good times, and... Um, I want to give it to you. I want to bring it to you right now. If you get a chance, uh, go to the website. That's our website, roadyfreeradio.com, and check out Lou's description in there because in the show notes, 
I give a lot of links, not only to his uh, amplifier company, but to Compton Guitars, Hard Truckers. Uh, there's a link for Sound Girls and um, the current Hot Tuna Guitar. Oh, Hot Tuna Tour, because let me tell you who plays Lewis's amps, okay? You ready for this? Here we go. Uh, Your McCockinen, Hot Tuna, Jackson Brown, Anna Popovich. Uh, who else? Uh, Ron Wood, Keith Richards, Arlen Roth. Danny Gatton played one of them. I think he was the first. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, Lou's a great guy. We just sat, kicked it in the garage, man, in Jersey. You know what I'm talking about? We sat there. We t we shot the shit. We had an espresso. We played some guitars. Things were nice. All right. That's enough of me talking. Let's get to the episode. Let's get to the interview. Let's do it. Y'all be safe. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. Lou Rosano. Okay. That's basically it. I hit save and bingo bango. There's some weird audio things happening. Some weird squeaking. I don't know. Are you getting that over there? I did notice that that there's stuff happening on the output of this board to the camera that doesn't happen in the actual um, recording of the thing of the episode into Adobe Audition. So I don't know if it's the board. I don't know. I don't know what's picking some weird things up. But anyway, that's it. So that's what we do. There you go. Now, if you want to hear the whole episode. You click the link in the description below for SoundCloud or go to the website and uh, bingo, bango. The rest is history. Again, if you like what you see, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting more videos. I got some other cool stuff coming up. I got to give you a studio tour. I got to give you a tour of my stuff uh, that... Uh, that I take on the road with me and um, you might be interested in podcasting. I'm thinking about, and I would love to hear your feedback on this. If you're interested in setting up a podcast and doing a podcast and launching, you might have questions. I'm thinking about doing a short video series on getting yourself launched and doing a podcast. Basic things like how do you start? Where do you start? Um, what equipment should you use? All that kind of good stuff. So if that's something of interest to you, Hit me up with a comment. Let me know. And uh, let me know some of the things that you're thinking about doing. And I will start to plot out um, what that little series could look like. All right. In the meantime, I really appreciate you tuning in. Go back. Check out some other videos. I got some cool stuff on there. And uh, I'll see you next week. Be well, my friends. No roadies. No rock and roll.